Welcome back to the Force Feed. In today's gaming news, a trailer for Yaiba provides a sneak peek of some Ninjaverse zombie action, Funcom's Secret World is getting its second major update, the Wii U price and release date are expected tomorrow, and Apple announces the iPhone 5. What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. It is Wednesday, September 12th, and my name is Force, here with today's gaming news. First up today, a new trailer for the upcoming Yaiba provides a sneak peek of some of the game's ninja vs zombie action. Yaiba is an upcoming zombie game being developed by Mega Man creator Keiji Inafune. Little is known about the game other than its concept, which is to combine zombies with action, ninjas, and mechs. Call me simple, but I'm sold. A trailer for the game was released today showing off some stylized artwork with what appears to be brief glimpses of actual gameplay. Yaiba, or Yiba, or Yeiba. I don't know how I actually pronounce this game, but I don't think it matters. It looks freaking awesome. We've got ninjas, zombies, and mechs. The only thing they could do to make this game any cooler is add dinosaurs and lasers. And who knows, maybe those will be in there too. Next up, Funcom's The Secret World will be getting its second major update tomorrow. Funcom's The Secret World, which sold far less than expected, continues to receive support from the developer. The game's second major update, titled Issue Number 2 Digging Deeper, releases tomorrow. With the update comes new investigation missions, a rocket launcher weapon type, the ability to change your character's features, and increased difficulty for two of the game's dungeons. I've talked about The Secret World quite a few times in the past. It had a great idea, but unfortunately was met with some terrible gameplay. Nevertheless, I am happy to see that the game's developer is continuing to support the product, even though they sold far less than they expected. Moving on, it looks like we can expect the release date and price for Nintendo's upcoming Wii U to be announced tomorrow. Nintendo's global Wii U event is taking place tomorrow morning, with the current expectation that we will be getting an announcement of the release date and price for the Wii U. The entire event will be streamed on Nintendo's website and YouTube channel starting at 10 a.m. Eastern. I think that if Nintendo ends up pricing this console below $300, they're actually going to sell pretty well. Anything above that, and they're going to have a pretty hard time competing against the next Xbox and PlayStation 3, but that's just my opinion. Let me know below what you guys think. And last up in somewhat gaming-related news today, the iPhone 5 has finally been announced. Apple announced the iPhone 5 and all of its key features earlier today. The phone has a 326 PPI Retina display 4 inches with an 1136 by 640 resolution. It's powered by an A6 chip which will provide twice as fast CPU and graphics processing on top of being 18% thinner and 20% lighter than the 4S. The iPhone 5 will be available on September 21st in the US, Canada, UK, Germany, France, Australia, Japan, Singapore, and Hong Kong for the same on-contract pricing as last year's 4S, ranging from $199 for 16GB to $399 for 64 Well, there you go, the iPhone 5 is finally here. Now, why is this relevant and why is it being brought up in a gaming news show? Well, despite what you think, mobile gaming is actually quite popular, although most hardcore gamers, myself included, don't consider it actual gaming. It's more of a means to pass the time. Now, there's been this growing notion when it comes to mobile gaming that it will eventually take over all of gaming in general. The fact that eventually in the future we will have handheld devices strong enough to run most of what we're interested in doing while gaming. I still have some major issues when it comes to the actual gaming interface of phones, and it's nothing that I still take seriously. What I want to know from you guys today is what do you think about mobile gaming? Do you think it's the future, or do you think it's just going to continue to move along and eventually just flop and return back to console and PC gaming focus? Alright ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for today's episode of the Force Feed. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you like the content, please be sure to like and favor this video. Once again, this has been Force, and you've just been Force Fed. So why should you as a gamer care that the iPhone 5 was announced? Well, uh, I don't know. It's lighter, so I guess that means your frail gamer arms can hold it up longer. That's good. I really want to check out the game forums and visit YouTube's Red Brother, but I can't hold this thing up for very long at all. Introducing the iPhone 5, 20% lighter than before.